if your player is being stuck on the walls in Unity, follow these steps. Many characters that are controlled with rigid body usually have problems with bouncing and being stuck on the walls. If your project is a 3D platformer or a 3D endless runner, this tutorial applies to you. There are two ways to fix this problem. If you want to use the rigid body, you can follow this simple guide. Open your player's rigid body and make sure to change the collision type to continuous. You can also do that by going to your player's script and adding this line of code. But both methods will basically do the same. If you use these settings, this won't literally change anything. You also need to do this. Go to Project Settings, Physics, and look for the default contact offset. This setting applies to rigid body characters. On default, it is set to 001. You need to set it to an even smaller number. Try to add one more zero. And you should also add a Physic Material. The one that does not have anything after, because Physic Material 2D is only for 2D projects. Now, when you try to play your project, you will realize how it behaves differently. The Physics Material has dynamic friction and static friction. Just play with the values and adjust them to avoid any kind of bounciness, because sometimes it will bounce on the platforms. So, when you are trying to play your game with these settings, you will still realize that sometimes it still has that bug. But anyway, it works much better, and this kind of lagging happens much less frequently. But this won't permanently fix any kind of problem that you are facing, like being stuck on larger walls. A quick solution for this is to use character controller. In my previous projects, I was using rigid body just to test some things about player movement. If you want a better way to prevent your player from sticking on the walls or platforms, use a character controller. With the character controller, you should reinvent the entire script by changing the lines of code that say anything related to your player's rigid body. You need to make sure that the character controller will work for both jumping and horizontal movement. If your character does not move horizontally, you need to make some new parts of the script by adding two boolean values, left and right, and check if those values are true. First define them in on left key and on right key. Before doing that, you need to change the RB add force and all places that have RB. Character controller is grounded. That will be part of the is grounded boolean. And you should remove all those lines that contain things related to rigid body. But I will put comment on these things. If is grounded. and velocity, which is the value that I will define right now, is less than zero. Velocity dot y is equal to minus 2f. What does that mean? The velocity is used for jumping when it comes to character controller. You need to add a vector 3 velocity but that will be a global variable. The next one that you need is the local movement velocity. I will call that value movement vector. And the movement vector will be equal to transform forward. This moves the transform of your player at the forward direction, which means it goes like this it changes the Z value. And it's multiplied with player force, because that tells how fast will the player move. So this line 
adds force to the player. The next line that you need is character controller move. But before that, you also need the reference to the velocity, which is equal to gravity. I need to define gravity here. I will set the gravity to be planet Earth gravity. 9.81 and it needs to be negative because the threshold of falling is negative in the response script. The gravity is multiplied with time dot delta time and after that line of code you need to move the character controller. Controller move has vector three motion, which is move vector plus velocity multiplied with time dot delta time. But movement vector is the thing you need to use. Pay attention. Now it should work, but that's not sufficient. Your player will be now able to jump, but you need to be able to move left and right. You need to remove this line of code, RB add force. And these are the vector three values that you need. The movement vector. You need to use the movement vector in left and right movement. Movement vector plus equal, transform right, multiplied with direction force. However, when you press the left key, it should say negative transform right. The right key should say transform right. And now you need to change the RB add force in on jump. Because you don't use rigid body anymore. And add this line. To jump using character controller, you need the velocity and gravity. Velocity dot y is equal to math sqrt, the math square root of movement, which is only applying when you are moving up, like in the y axis. Jump speed multiplied with negative 2f and gravity. This puts jump speed into gravity, allowing your player to jump. Save the script and test it. If your player still cannot move left and right, but can only jump, it means that you have missed something in your script. Let's go back and fix the thing we missed. In some of the previous parts of the video, I mentioned that you have to add move left and move right boolean values. They will be true only when your player presses a button. When you press the left key, move left will be true, move right will be false. When you press the right key, move left will be false, but move right will be true. These two values will be false in void start, which means before the first frame, these values won't be enabled. But in order to make sideways movement work, you need to add it in void update. If move left, then take this line of code. And if move right, then take the right key pressed line of code saying move vector transform right. You should use the local movement vector in this context. And add the invoke line to stop the player from moving. Rename movement vector to movement and add invoke. Save the script and go back to Unity. Now, as you can see, the player can move left and right and it stops the movement after one second. This looks great, 
but let's just see what will happen when the player becomes stick to the walls. Will it still be stuck? It doesn't get stuck. Amazing! Now this game works much better than the previous time. If you want more tutorials, consider subscribing. I will make more tutorials about Endless Runner, 2D Platformer and even the 3D Platformer series, which are the oldest tutorial series on this channel. Have a good day and keep learning. Bye!